turned out to be a busy afternoon for you, but your response was very quick. <laughs> now, tell us, what's the history of this land? Let's begin with that. Well, so thank you very much, Paul. And let me say a very good evening to your cherished viewers. And you're right, I've had to hold a press conference this afternoon, a press conference I did not anticipate when I walked into the office this morning. Mm -hmm. But from nowhere, I began to receive a barrage of um, calls about claims that the president, myself, and his government intend to sell the Achimota forest. I must be honest with you, initially, I, I parried it off because I, I found it as outrageous as it comes. But uh, as you can imagine, it, it took a life of its own. And therefore, we had to respond to it and to set the record straight. So your question is apt. What is the history? Mm -hmm. In 1921, the then colonial government acquired a parcel of land for purposes of building the Achimota School. Achimota School? Yes. Mm -hmm. And then in 1927, mm -hmm. they acquired another parcel of land as an extension of the Achimota School. And then in 1930, specifically by Order 31 of a cap, they designated the 1927 acquisition as a forest reserve. And in fact, they um, qualified the 1927 acquisition as a, a forest plantation, which is to be used as fuel wood for the Achimota School. Oh, I see. Yes, yeah, mm -hmm. so, so the 1927 acquisition, which was uh, in 1930 designated as a forest reserve, in the uh, view of the colonial government, mm -hmm. the Gold Coast government at the time, was to be used as a woodlock plantation, which would be harvested to serve, to produce fuel for the Achimota school, for bakery, for cooking, and so on and so forth. Now, so it remained as that. The size of that acquisition, the acquisition of 1927, was 479 hectares. 479 hectares. Yes, 479 hectares. The 1921 acquisition, compensation was paid for the 1921 acquisition. But compensation was not paid for the 1927 acquisition. 21, who, was, who received the compensation? The old family. Old family. Yeah, the original owners, the Alodia title owners. They are the, the owners of that. They are the owners. Land. They are the original, the pre-acquisition owners. Mm -hmm. So the pre-acquisition owners, being the old, old family, received um, uh, compensation. So it's family land. It's not school land. It's it's family land. Okay, it's family land. Yes, right. family land. Mm -hmm. It's family land. You are right. So okay. so so the nineteen twenty one acquisition compensation was paid. Nineteen twenty seven compensation was not paid. So this 479 hectares of land, it's a huge parcel of land. Now, as you know, in the colonial times, when land was acquired for a particular purpose, for example, I mean, I can give you two classic examples. The EI, which acquired land for the development of the Kolebu Teaching Hospital. Mm -hmm. That EI encompasses a lot of today's Ghana communities around Kolebu. the Kolebu Teaching Hospital. So normally, Kolegon or Dansoman and all yeah, those Yeah, they normally will acquire a huge parcel of land. The University of Ghana acquisition walks all the way into some parts of East Legon, North Legon, and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. It is the same for the Achimota Forest acquisition, the acquisition of 1927. Which was for the Forest Reserve. Yes, okay. which was for the Forest Reserve. So 21 was for Achimota School. Correct. 27 Forest Reserve. That is correct. To serve Achimota School. Absolutely. Okay. And then... You're talking about 30, 1930. Yeah, the 1927 was an acquisition, uh, an acquisition as an extension of the Achimota School. But in 1930, the colonial government classified or designated the 1927 acquisition mm -hmm. supposed to be an extension as a forest reserve. Okay. 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 To be used as a woodlock plantation to provide fuel for the Achimota School. So the 27 acquisition, the size of hectares, is the same narrative in the 30 acquisition. Yes. Except that it changes. Correct. The okay. use changes. Okay. All okay. right. So fast forward, the 479 hectares not all of it was used as a forest reserve mm -hmm. not all of it mm -hmm. part of it was used as forest reserve the part which was used as forest reserve is what we all know as achimota forest okay 
So when we say Achimota Forest, we know Achimota Forest. We all Ghanaians, everybody knows Achimota Forest. Mm -hmm. Achimota Forest is this Achimota Forest we know mm -hmm. where people go to pray in, mm -hmm. uh, this, that, that, okay. and that is that forest. All right. But there was a, a good number of land which was acquired in 1927 and which was designated as a forest reserve in 1930, specifically by Order 31, but which all of it was not used as a forest reserve, which is now called the Achimota Forest. Mm. Okay. Uh, and then mm -hmm. in, in the meantime, in 1961, President Krumer's government designated portions of the part which was not used as a Chimota forest as a place to be used for the construction of Gimpa. Today's Gimpa as Today's we know Gimpa, it. Today's Gimpa as we know it. Okay. So, so Gimpa actually falls within the 1927 acquisition. Yes. But it was not part of the, 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 forest the designation for forest the forest reserve. reserve. Okay. And then uh, the Forestry Commission headquarters itself. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm is part of the 1927 acquisition. Then the earthquake monitoring center, what they call the seismic center, is part of the 1927 acquisition. The Forestry Commission uh, accommodation uh, facilities forms part of the, for of the 1927 acquisition. And then there have also been a lot of private encroachment in this other area which doesn't form part of what we know as Achimota Forest, but forms part of the 1907 broader acquisition, the 479 hectares acquisition. So the old family, given that they had not been paid compensation for the 1927 acquisition, began to agitate and petition that the, first of all, they were not paid compensation. Second of all, the original intent for which the land was acquired had not been used for its original purpose. And you know the implications of that, even the constitution. And the constitution. And the original purpose being what? Forest? Forest reserve. OK. Yes. And then Which you have is 1930. Yes, correct. But, but you say that not all of it was designated for forest. So that, that part, which was not designated for forest, including Gimpa, including uh, forestry, maybe Achimota Police Station, as we know it today, w was the old family concerned about that? Is so, that what they meant by not having been used for its original purpose? So let me explain. The 1927 acquisition, the 479 hectares, mm -hmm. all of it was designated in 1930 as a forest reserve. All? All. Okay. But not all of it was planted into a forest reserve, if you want. Not all of it mm -hmm. got planted, uh, I mean, got uh, developed into a forest reserve. Okay, so in, in, into, into a forest. Forest into a has forest. to be developed. Yes. Planting trees. Yeah, planting rapidly trees. Rapidly. Yeah, exactly. Like that. Okay. As, as we know it, as we know Achimota okay. Forest. Okay. okay. So okay. when you go outside Achimota Forest, you don't see trees. You see buildings. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. yes so yes. that part, even though it forms part of the 1927 acquisition, which all of it was designated in 1930 as a forest reserve, those parts were not developed into a forest. forest. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. We get it. So yeah. So, so now the old family's concern was you did not use it for the purpose, purpose. which was forest. Yeah. Two, two grounds. Mm. First, that you did not pay as compensation. Second, that you did not use it for the original uh, intended purpose for which the land was acquired. And of course, you know the constitutional provision mm -hmm. relating to not using, first of all, related to compensation, and second of all, relating to not using the land acquired for its original purpose. You're referring to Article 20, isn't it? I should think so. Yeah, I'll look Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, Paul, so um, petitions upon petitions upon petitions were lodged by the old family. The first one was lodged in 2007 to President J. Kufo. Mm -hmm. President Kufo then set up a committee to look into the matter. And the committee came to the conclusion that the, the petition or the request or the claim of the old family was legitimate. And therefore, on 24th November 2008, President Kufo's minister executed an agreement with the old family for the release of the peripheral portions of the Achimota forest to the old family in lieu of compensation. Then How it, much uh, uh, hectares was it? How much acres was it? This compensation you're talking about? Well, I don't have it here. Okay. But, but on 24... Okay, but the this, principle this established that their yes. claim was legitimate yes. and that the president set up a committee and they actually executed an instrument Yes. Okay, to Correct. create what the obligation of government to pay. Yes, them. exactly. Okay. In lieu of compensation. Then in 2011, the Wu family submitted another petition to the then Minister for Lands and Natural Resources, Honorable Mike Allen Hammer, for the grant of portions of the Forest Reserve. The minister constituted the committee, chaired by the then chairman, and the, and chaired by the then chairman, 
who doubled as the chief executive officer of the Forestry Commission, Mr. Samuel Afaridati, to inquire into the legitimacy of the request and its impact on the forest reserve. The committee, after its investigation, concluded that the request of the Wu family was legitimate as far back as 2011. And then President Mahama came into office. And on 5th September 2013, the then President of the Republic, His Excellency John Dramani Mahama, gave executive approval for the conversion of the forest reserve, that Chimota Forest Reserve, into an ecotourism park and to release the peripheral portions of the forest reserve, the subject matter of our conversation, to the old family in accordance with the recommendations of their Afaridate committee. So in 2013, President Mahama in his, and his government, rightly in my view, rightly in my view, and I support the decision that President Mahama took, to grant the portions of the land which had not been used as a forest to the old family mm -hmm. in 2013. And then, pursuant to the said executive approval, the Forestry Commission, acting on behalf of the then president, His Excellency John Dramani Mahama, three leases executed in September 2013, granted these portions of the forest reserve to the old family for a term of 99 years. A term of 99 years. The family then registered the land in its name and granted sub leases to other private developers with the consent of the Forestry Commission. So, the executive approval having been given that the peripheral portions of the Achimota forest be granted to the old family. Mm -hmm. The government then proceeded to get the Forestry Commission to grant a lease, mm -hmm. because as you know, forest reserves are vested in the Forestry Commission. Mm -hmm. They are the title owners. Mm -hmm. To grant a lease to the old family. And the lease was registered in the name of the old family, which is the subject matter we are discussing today. Okay. So the old family then gets um, this lease granted to them, registered in their name, and as you know, by law, they would have they would have they would have acquired a legal interest in the land because the lease is a contract inter parties. So it was a strict enforceable contract between the old family and the government of Ghana. So in fact, in, in ordinary transactions, they didn't need anything more than I have done or than the government has done. They would have just registered a lease with the Lands Commission and proceed to get title. They didn't need anything more. But I'll tell you why I had to intervene as Minister for Lands. I'm saying that in a normal course of land transaction, when you are granted a lease, you just proceed to the Lands Commission, the land title registry of the Lands Commission, and you plot your lease, you go through the motions, and you are given title, and which title is indefeasible.